Mr. Speaker, on this uh, seventh day of the present emergency sitting, I want to emphasize the fact uh, that the NDP are setting a very dangerous precedent by disregarding the legal requirement for a referendum for a PST increase. Referendums, of course, are also required before the sale of Manitoba Hydro or Manitoba Public Insurance. Uh, this was legislated in part because former Premier Gary, Premier, Gary Fillman sold MTS after promising that he would not. Just, just as the current Premier promised that he would not raise the PST. Mr. Speaker, I ask, does the Premier recognize the dangerous precedent he's setting, one that puts Manitoba Hydro on the fast track to privatization? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I recognize that the Progressive Conservatives would like to privatize Manitoba Hydro. I agree with the member of River Heights on that regard. What we are doing is we're building Manitoba Hydro. We know that the power will run out in 2022. The Leader of the Opposition wants to stop it in its tracks. Not a very good idea, Mr. Speaker. We need the power in the next decade. If we build it earlier than that, it will be available to our export customers. They will pay down the cost of the new dams, which will keep rates lower for Manitoba, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Manitobans understand Manitoba Hydro is best serving all people in Manitoba as a Crown Corporation, and I assure you it will do that for many years to come as we build it for the future, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, power coming from the Wisquatam Dam is costing Manitoba taxpayers 7.2 cents a kilowatt hour to produce when revenue from its sale is much lower. Uh, while projected uh, shale gas reserves in the decades Energy produced from natural gas may continue to be low cost for quite some time. Operating at a consistent loss is not sustainable and will put Manitoba Hydro at risk. Even former Premier Ed Schreier yesterday is opposed to the Premier's plans. I asked the Premier how can he justify a financial plan where production costs exceed returns resulting in ongoing permanent losses. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, I wasn't able to hear all the content of that question because of the brouhaha from the members opposite. But I will say this. I will say this. That the, I will say this, Mr. Speaker. When, when, when we built limestone with Manitoba Hydro, the members opposite said that it would never make money. It paid itself back in 10 years. It has provided bottom line positive benefits to Manitoba ever since with the lowest rates in North America. We already have customers in the United States that want to purchase our power. After the announcement by the Obama administration yesterday that there's going to be tighter controls on coal plants and tighter controls on existing coal plants, Manitoba Power. Manitoba electricity is even more valuable today than it was yesterday, Mr. Speaker. And still, the members opposite want to stop it in its tracks. We will build it. We will keep the lowest rates in North America, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, yesterday, former NDP Premier Ed Schreier described today's NDP Premier's actions on Manitoba Hydro as passing strange and reckless, uh, putting the corporation's future at risk. He said the government should pause and evaluate, just as they should pause and have a referendum on the PST instead of bulldozing through. I ask, Mr. Speaker, will the Premier continue down his dangerous path, making it easier to put Manitoba Hydro on the auction block, or will he reconsider his reckless decision to ignore the law and instead put the PST hike on hold and do the right thing and first put the question to the people of Manitoba? Yes, Mr. Speaker, Manitoba Hydro, with the growth in our economy, which has been among the best in Canada over the last 10 years, needs new power by 2022. The Leader of the Opposition wants to stop it in its tracks. Apparently, the Leader of the Liberal Party, from the member from River Heights, wants to stop it into its tracks. We want to build it with the surplus power. will be sold to the United States, firm contracts, well worth over $70 billion, $29 billion over the next 30 years. That will pay down the cost of the dams to keep Manitoba rates the lowest in North America. The PST money will provide flood protection in the Assiniboine Valley, like we did for the Red River Valley in Winnipeg. Winnipeg was very safe this year. The Red River Valley was very safe this year. All the lessons we're learning today across the planet are showing us that investments in flood protection 
protection save you $30 for every dollar you invest. That's the wise decision we're taking in Manitoba. The members opposite should get on board and protect Manitobans, Mr. Speaker.